<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Uh, today, my guest is uh, Roy Libert, and Roy hails from us from South Missouri, and we're up here in Central Missouri, halfway between Columbia and um, actually Moberly. And uh, today was Sheep Day, and Roy brought up some puppies today that he he had raised, and uh, Jan and I have been working at getting these sold, mainly Jan. And we, we got it all done. And uh, we got a bunch of rams. Uh, we had ewes. And we had some train guardian dogs. Some withers. And people actually brought some bailing rollers back home with them this morning. <laughs> it was pretty hectic this morning, wasn't it, Roy? It was very busy. The, <laughs> the road was full of people eager to meet Greg Judy and buy some nice sheep and some dogs and go home with some bailing rollers. Everybody was happy, smiling. It was, and it was a beautiful atmosphere. Even though it was a busy morning, yep. it went well. It, it was unbelievable, the uh, the passion and the excitement and the people's faces, you know. I get a real charge out of that. So, anyway, uh, I wanted Roy to give a little bit of history of where he started from, where he's at today, and how he got to where he's at here today. Hello. I'm from central Missouri. I know Greg thinks I'm from south Missouri, but I'm about 20 miles south of Jefferson City. And uh, I live in a unique part of the whole country because I have people like Greg Judy. I consider my friend and neighbor, even though we have a few miles between us. But there's a lot of good people in this area. And uh, we met up through his grazing school back in 2010. Actually, I first came to one of his schools and... And boy, I'm telling you, it's a life changer. And if you want to change your life and do good in your life and be good for your family and raise quality food, folks, you got to pay attention to what Greg Judy has to say and and take it in and make the best judgment for you and your family. Because I struggled for many years wanting to become a full-time farmer. And I've chased many beasts down many runs trying to get there. But listening to Greg Judy, once I knew what was in my heart and and I'm open and willing to do what needs to be done. And this is not complicated stuff. This is simple. This is life. This is following the rhythms of nature and capitalizing on every richness that has been given to us. And that's all you have to do is learn how to take that cream off the top and you will be richly blessed. And everything else can just be recycled into nature, recycled into the community, and and everybody's happy and blessed with that. But anyway, uh, Greg Judy, South Pole Cattle, I would say that is what supports me to this day. But I still raise pastured chicken, pastured turkey, uh, the Joel Salatin model, basically, chasing every little thing to, to make a dollar and struggling with that and with life to... To try to make a living on the farm plus raise a family with the quality of life that I think children should be brought up with and so Joel Salatin, Greg Judy and of course Ralph Voss in our area too with the South Pole cattle and Bruce Shanks and and so many more the South Pole organization even is a wonderful place for people to get started if you have no clue what to do Look up South Pole online, attend their yearly events. You're definitely going to learn. I think the first thing, you, if you want to take the step out there and be somebody for yourself or do something good for your family, is to research your options. And the South Pole Association is one of those options that will help young farmers or beginning farmers because we understand First, you have to have quality animals, have quality food, have quality sales, and everything just seems to line up if you're focused on animals, animal function and performance. Then becomes your farm becomes profitable, your lifestyle becomes fun, happy, pleasurable, and even on really hot, crappy days, you can put your work in in two hours in the morning, two hours in the evenings, and you can siesta like where Greg and I were just <laughs> out here talking today and having a good old time because it's hot out. The, and, and we can do that. We have been blessed with this beautiful lifestyle that I think a lot of people are searching for. And, uh, and so I will forever be thankful to people like Ralph Boss and Greg Judy and Teddy Gentry 
and, and Ray Archuleta and Joel Salatin. All of these people have been a blessing in my life and, and I, I just want people out there to know that there's many more people like me or like Greg, but you're just maybe a few years behind. And there's many good people out here with all this experience and wealth of knowledge willing to share. And I say, come join us. Let's help you make those first few steps and have a mentor, somebody you can talk to or lean on, ask questions from, get quality animals from Greg Judy, uh, because you're, you're starting out on such a high plane, the only thing that's gonna mess up is any mismanagement issues that may become from inexperience. But even those are small blessings because you just put that in your knowledge toolbox and you build on it, you grow from that. It only makes you stronger in the end. Well, Roy, we had a guy here this morning from Michigan, and he checked all over his area just to try and find somebody that had sheep that they weren't worming. He, he told me, he said, Greg, I'm not going to get in the sheep business and worm sheep. And he looked all over the whole northern part of the United States, couldn't find one producer, and finally he said, heck with it. I'm driving down to Missouri. We're going to get some parasite-resistant sheep that I'm not going to have to worm. But, you know, I told him, I said, when you bring those sheep back to Michigan, there's going to be probably one or two that don't work. You've got to get rid of those, keep the ones that work, and propagate from there forward. Because when you move animals a long distance, not 100% of them are going to work. Because you've taken them out of their locale where they were born and bred. Absolutely. And also, they're not crutched up with grain. You're, you have to learn to use these animals as another tool in your toolbox that they can go out there and take the cream off the landscape. That's all you're doing is you're using these animals to move across the landscape. They're harvesting even what most people are going to call weeds. We're going to call forbs. Yep. These rich, luscious pr mineral profiles in these plants, and they're turning it into this healthy, wonderful, delicious meat product. And I just can't see how you can go wrong by taking what other people call weeds, converting it into such a high-value product with such good margins that... Folks, it's, I don't know, you'd almost, I don't know how you can fail. It's just almost <laughs> impossible unless you screw up the marketing side of it. But that's a whole nother ball game. And, and, and hopefully, whether you have people that want to work and live off the land, there's so many people out there with computer skills today. I have none. Thank God I've been blessed with a, with a good family and, and an exceptional nice daughter and son-in-law <laughs> now. <laughs> just got her married off. Um but they know computers and so i lean on them on things that i struggle with i find people that help buttress me up and make me the better person so that i can serve more people yep. because not everybody should have to do everything all by themselves all the time you're going to get burned out and and when you use other people's talents you've increased yourself just by standing next to them because they are so much better at what they do than what you could ever possibly do. Just just make that symbiotic relationship. Make that happen. Yep. Pull it together. Well, the, one of the resources that you use, and I go on it occasionally when I have time, uh, is the, is the gra is South Pole Grass Cattle uh, Forum. And that's, a, that's something that there's, what, how many members are on there now? Like a thousand? I don't know. I don't the, even know how to get there. There's a bunch of them. Anyway, I'm on there and occasionally, and there's... A lot of people on there posting things about cattle, particularly South Pole and management and grazing issues. But check it out. It's called South Pole Grass Cattle uh, Forum. And you got to just send them an email and then you're accept they'll accept you in. It's free. And you can uh, learn more about the, the, the breed. But Roy, you started, I mean, you used to, you worked at a grocery store and you did this on the side for many years. But you never lost sight of where you wanted to be. I always knew since I was a little kid, I always had farming in my blood and I was going to get there. I spent my summers on my grandparents' farm and I just loved it. I loved the influence that my grandparents have put onto me. And they're all gone now, but they, they live through me. And uh, they all love the land. They love the animals. Uh, I inherited that from them as something I want to carry forward. It's something I've given my children when I raised them on the farm. And... <clears throat> And life was a struggle because I had to run the rat race with, you know, raising a family and insurance and the monthly bills and everything like that. 
however if you can make a small investment when you're young if you know this is what you want to do a, a small investment in time and a small sacrifice will pay much bigger dividends in a very short time than I would say struggling for 20, 30, 40 years and living your life with this dream in the background of, oh, I want to be a farmer, I want to live on the land, I want to do these things. I'm going to tell every young person out there, you need to follow your heart, leave your dream, and just go do it and, and get it done. Because don't be like me. I love my life, I love my family. But I wish I'd have done this 40 years ago because I would have got to say I lived my life, I enjoyed my life. But I am blessed now. I get to live my life as I see fit and do what I want to do because of all this, which started out with meeting Greg Judy back in 2009 and, and attending his grazing school. In fact, not just one, because I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> hard-headed. I came several times, and every time I came, I learned something new, or I had new, or I put in practice what I learned at that time, because people have different learning stages and steps and struggles. And so I kept coming back, and, and every time I did, I learned something new. I was like, I, I kept upping my next plane of knowledge, my next plane of knowledge. Yep. And then even in the new schools I come to, I had knowledge that I could share with the other newbie people, and I could say, I just went through this struggle, just like you're experiencing now and so we could move on yep. and, and help them but but the plane of knowledge increases you never 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 stop learning and then I don't know I may come back and just join another school one of these days just I just love the group of people that are here and and that come that are drawn to Greg Judy because he's such a wonderful person and, and you're making me blush Roy well it is because the people on earth that matter are people like Greg Judy People that understand how to make a living off the land, you're connected to the land. You have to have the common sense and do the right thing. Follow those three rules and you you can't screw it up. Somebody else is going to have to screw it up for you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Well, Roy, I appreciate you taking the time this morning. And I want a heartfelt thanks to you and uh, helping us load and run the gates and take care of the customers this morning it was awesome to spend some I time love, with you i love meeting everybody that came everybody that came was a stranger when they showed up and i had a genuine handshake when they left i think the wonderful people i know there's many more of you out there struggling making these decisions and i know in your heart it's just a matter of time of when yep. and so please just uh, do the right thing Follow Greg. We all love watching Greg Judy videos. No matter what, I don't care what he's doing. If he's 30 degrees out there and the wind's blowing, he's complaining that it's too damn cold and windy and I are hurrying getting tours. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that's Greg Judy. That's life on the farm. It's dynamic. It's different. It's it is what it is. And and I just feel ashamed that we're not out on the four wheeler right now, giving more people vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Roy. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off of here. Appreciate it. And uh, we're sitting here on, underneath this beautiful tree. Uh, this is a catalpa. It's got the one in the fall. It's got the big long beans on it. It's just, these are beautiful pictures trees. This is on one of our lease farms. Beautiful. And uh, you just can't find prettier trees in the shade. It blooms beautiful in yeah, the spring. Yeah, yeah. And there's got a beautiful bloom in the spring. That's right. Well, I forgot about the blooms. They are beautiful. But anyway, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, hit that subscribe button on the way out, and uh, we'll see you all next time down the road.